Hello, this is Tabia and it's only one and a half weeks to Christmas. In case you haven't really started with all of your Christmas knitting yet, then I'm going to help you out today because I'm going to list my 10 favorite knitting patterns for Christmas gifts. In general, with this little time left, what you want to go for is small projects, thick yarn, large needles so that you don't get into a rush on the 23rd or depending on the 24th, depending when you have to give your gifts. I'm going to list patterns in five different categories and the first one are hats. First hat is the Mill Hill Toque by Andrea Rangel and I have made it for my dad already. It's this very simple ribbed hat and if you're going to subscribe to Andrea's newsletter then you're going to get it for free. And you need 165 meters of worsted weight yarn and it's knitted on a US 3 or a 3.25 millimeter needles so it's going to go rather quick. And I can confirm because I think I made mine in like two or three days or so. Next one is the Alewife cap by Whitney Hayard, which is also a ribbed hat, but it just has a slightly different crown shaping. And I think that just a ribbed hat is such a basic, so you could give it to your, like, to almost everybody, your father, your sister, your brother, your best friend, your husband, whatever, and um, everybody suits in such a hat, I think. And I really like the different crown shaping. It's also going to go rather fast, 183 meters of worsted weight yarns and this one is knitted in a 5 millimeters or a US 8. And the last hat is the Croft Hoose hat by Ella Gordon and what I said before, thick yarn, maybe not too complicated, thick needles. This one does not really match all of those categories but I'm making it for my grandma and if you saw the video where I had to rip the whole thing down um, I haven't started knitting it yet. I said in that video, pro tip, start knitting right away. Didn't really do it, so now I really have to get going with that one. But I'm confident that I can still do it. Next category, and I only have one pattern for this one, are mitts. And I really like these ones. These are the Wabi Mitts by Karen Templer of Friends Association and they are just these super simple, very cute, small mitts that also would suit everybody. And it's a free pattern as well and you need, in the pattern it says 128 to 137 meters of fingering weight yarn. So that's less than half a skein of a fingering weight and you probably have something fitting in your stash and I really love just the simple design and it's going to go rather fast as well. Next categories are socks. I'm not the largest sock knitter myself but I found three that I liked. First one is the Afterthought Everything by Megan Nodecker. Um, by now you maybe have realized that I really love her designs, I'm also doing a test knit for her at the moment and this is not as much as a pattern but rather a recipe and you can work it at any gauge with any yarn that you have in your stash or like any sock yarn you like and you, I haven't done them myself but what you basically do is I think that you knit a tube and then you do an afterthought heel, afterthought toes and afterthought cuffs. And I think I really like the idea because you just, it's going to go really fast to knit the tube and then you can knit the tu tubes whenever you have the time and then you can just add all the fiddly stuff afterwards when you have some time. Second pattern are the Malabrigo loafers and this picture is not from the pattern itself but from a project that a person with a username Alice Catherine made on Ravelry. And I think they are so cute and really I see them like for my dad or for my grandpa, they, they look really cozy but are still quite classy I think, uh, so I really love them. 
Thick yarn, Erin weight yarn, 230 meters, US 10 or 6 millimeter needles. So it's going to go rather fast as well. And the last one are the Erin Bed Socks by Tracy Heiner. And last year I made a pair of bed socks for my grandma. I didn't use this particular pattern because the pattern I used was a German one, but I like this one as well. And my grandma was always complaining about cold feet, so that's why I went for some bed socks. Um, and these are going to knit up super fast as well. Next category, jewelry. The first pattern is a bracelet that's called Texo cuff. I think it's five I cord strings that you make and twist together and then put some beads on it as well. And I think it's super cute. I had it in my favorites for a longer time and now when I thought about patterns for this video, I felt like oh, this would be a very good gift. And you need 23 meters of yarn, fingering yarn it says in the pattern. So these are going to be knitted up in no time as well. Second pattern, or these are actually two patterns and both are by Susan Sommer, which I feel kind of started the knitting jewelry trend that's going on right now. And these are the chevron earrings and lightning earrings. And I think they both really, really cute. You can probably knit them up in no time. In the pattern it says, nine or ten meters of fingering weight yarn so it's going to go super quick i think the only thing that might be a little bit fiddly is how you connect the earring itself to the hanger that you put into your ear but i guess you will be able to figure that out and hopefully it says so in the pattern i haven't actually checked but i think this would be cool and would be the perfect gift for your sister or your best friend or maybe for yourself and the last pattern in the last category is accessories and I could have gone forever but I thought oh I have to stop myself somewhere I just picked this one bag it's the Lopi Toad by Heidi Gustad and it's knitted at a gauge of eight centimeters to four inches or ten centimeters in a so super bulky yarn so this is going to go really really fast and you're going to need 120 meters only and I really really like the bag especially with these leather handles it looks super cute and would be a great gift these were all of my favorites uh, I have two questions for you actually first one do you need gifts for other people or are you an ego knitter only which is totally fine by the way I hear you and uh, second question, if you are knitting Christmas gifts, what are your favorites? Please leave a comment down below so then we can have a list with even more patterns. Please also check the description box because I've linked all of the patterns that I mentioned down below so you can find them pretty easily. And all of the patterns are also available for download on Revely so that you don't have to buy any books or order anything so that you can get going right away. I will see you again next Wednesday before Christmas, last time, and um, happy knitting and bye bye!